شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله my dear brothers and sisters in islam viewers of goddess tv karima wuzaid coming to you live again from denver colorado after the month of ramadan to remind all of us including myself do not let down after the month of ramadan brothers and sisters in islam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed fasting upon us in order to attain taqwa and taqwa the word taqwa can be defined so many ways but one of the best ways to define it is the linguistic aspect of the word taqwa that you place between you and the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a barrier a protection zone and you do this by engaging in obedience and staying away from disobedience and this is why Ramadan visited you for almost 29 days to train you for this now if you let go the Salah in the Masjid especially Fajr and Isha in particular those two Salahs because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam indicated in an authentic hadith that it is a sign of hypocrisy if you leave those two salahs they are the heaviest two salahs on hypocrites because they come in a very comfortable time where you are at home sitting with your family maybe watching or chatting uh, watching your television show or you're chatting and then you are called to leave home to go to the house of Allah. You see in Ramadan you used to do it. But then after Ramadan, you're gonna skip it. And this is not good for you. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kama fi sahih muslim hadith Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu an. He says this, the best two salahs, uh, the heaviest two salahs on uh, uh, a person is Fajr and Isha. And if they do know if Muslims do know the reward that they get if they observe these two salahs in the masjid they will come to observe these two salahs in the masjid even if they are uh, crawling uh, now uh, the issue here is uh, why uh, another hadith explains this that man sallal Whosoever prays Isha in Jama'ah as if he has prayed uh, half of the night. وَمَنْ صَلَّ الْفَجْرَ فِي جَمَاعَةِ فَكَأَنَّمَا قَامَ اللَّيْلَ كُلَّهِ And if you pray Fajr in Jama'ah, then uh, basically you have prayed the other half of the night. So as if you have prayed the whole half. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that uh, if you know the reward and the virtues and the merits of those two Salahs, observing them, in the masjid, you would go and do not let down. So here is Ramadan came and trained you for 29 days or 30 days to be out there in Isha and to be out there in Fajr. Why do you let go after, afterwards? Uh, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ya, ya ikhwa, kama fi hadith Aisha radiyallahu anha, wal hadith fil Bukhari, ahabu al-a'mali ila Allah adwamuha wa in qallat. The most beloved deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the most consistent, even if they are little, even if they are little. So brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, do not let down of your regular salah and at least observe your fajr and your isha in the masjid. At least, this is the least that you can do. If the masjid is next door to you, then Possibly, you're going to have to pray these five daily prayers in the masjid. Now, um, another thing that you should not let go is Salatul Layl. Praying at night. At tahajjud Or Qiyamul Layl. 
That is why Taraweeh was a training for you. And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, kama sahha fi mustadrak al-hakim, he said that the best salah after the mandatory salah is the salah that you observe at night, the night uh, prayers, salatul layl. And uh, subhanallah, sharaful mu'min is the honor of a believer, the dignity of a believer. If you want to be dignified and honored in this world, is your way is to pray at night, Salatul Tahajjud or Salatul Qiyam. It is a beautiful Salah. Again, Ramadan came to train you to it. To train you. Yes, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he observed it, he observed it right after Isha, in order to train you to pray that Salah at night. You can pray it after midnight, but of course the best time to pray it is the last third of the night when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends. And yes, we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends brothers and sisters in Islam in a way that befits him, in a way that he, it fits Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can you imagine this? Every single night, brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah descends the last third of the night and he calls upon you. Are you wanting anything? Do it for you. Anybody seeking forgiveness? Huh? Anybody wants to repent? Huh? So do not waste the night prayers, brothers and sisters in Islam. Do not let down of the night prayers. Do not. Again, another thing that Ramadan trained you, trained you to do, is the Quran. The Quran. Are you going to put the Quran on the shelves now? Huh? After you have almost finished it a couple of times, maybe one, two, three, four, five times, some of you, after you have listened to it behind the Imam in the Taraweeh, after you have recited it at home in your bed, or after you have listened to it in your car in Ramadan, are you going to let go with the, with the Quran now? Are you going to let down with the Quran? Al Quran Kalamullah. The Quran is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The speech of Allah. The speech of Allah. Don't you want to read the words of Allah? Don't you want to read the speech of Allah? Don't you want to hear the speech of Allah? Ramadan came to train you to the words of Allah. Do not let down after Ramadan. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Ramadan also came to train us to a beautiful character. A character that does not backbite. A character that does not gossip. A character that does not cheat. A character that does not lie. Because you remember, in Ramadan, we reminded you and we said the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, huh? فَإِذَا كَانَ يَوْمُ صَوْمِ أَحَدِكُمْ If it is a fasting day for any of you, then do not speak falsehood or do not act falsehood. Speaking falsehood would include backbiting, gossiping, cheating, lying, or typing, typing stuff, or acting falsehood, looking, or harming somebody. Remember Ramadan came to train us to this. You recall what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to you, even when somebody gets to you, what should you say to him? You remember that? Huh? فَإِنْ سَابَّهُ أَحَدٌ أَوْ قَاتَلَهُ If somebody fights with you or argues with you, then tell him what? إِنِّي صَائِمْ إِنِّي صَائِمْ I'm fasting, I'm fasting. Now, this beautiful character, the character that does not harm, and when it's harmed by someone else, it does not react in an ignorant way. Rather, it reminds a person with the ritual of fasting. Are you going to let down of that character now? Are you going to boot on the other demon character? 
and you're going to take away that angel character, huh? that angel mask, and you you replace it with a demon mask. Come on. People loved you the way that you were in Ramadan. Carry on yourself after Ramadan in this manner. Do not let down brothers and sisters in Islam of this. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Ramadan also came to train you to the ibadah of fasting, to the act of worship of fasting. And uh, Ijaz, are we going to be receiving phone calls, inshallah? Naam? So our, our, our lines are, are open? Yeah, inshallah. So hopefully the, uh, the phone number will be shown uh, on the screen momentarily. So uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, you can go ahead and ask your questions, bi uh, ta'ala. But to conclude, uh, because if you let down of these things, if you let down of these things, you are the one who is losing. You are the one who is losing. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Ramadan came to train you to the ibadah of fasting. Tayyip, uh, is fasting Ramadan, is the only fasting that you can do? Absolutely not. You could fast more. But this is a voluntary fast. In Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the month of Ramadan, in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, in the month of Shawwal, which the month that we are uh, living uh, its days now, he says, كَمَا فِي حَدِيثِ أَبِي أَيُّوبِ الْأَنصَارِ رضي الله عنه والحديث في صحيح الإمام مسلم من صام رمضان whosoever fast Ramadan ثم أتبعه ستا من شوال then he follows it with six days from Shawwal as if he has fasted the whole year. Okay, so there are six days out of Shawwal that you could fast. And by the way, you do not have to do them one after another consecutively. You could actually pick and choose, provided that you're going to finish them in the month of Shawwal. So do not let go of this ibadah.